Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and making some really good trades and yeah, let's just get into it. Uh, we can see that Bitcoin right now is back down to 58,986. Uh, me personally, I'm not panicking or anything like that. I'm still in my trades, obviously in a loss. Uh, and Rick has actually doubled down on his positions as well in the Discord. As you can see, he turned his $1 million position into a $2 million position. So now Rick is actually in the $2 million trade on Bitcoin. So he is quite confident in his strategy. And I am confident in his strategy as well. Uh, but obviously, I have uh, other people copying my trade. So obviously, I don't feel comfortable adding more trades for other people who are probably copying me with higher leverage. Right? I've gotten some... Uh, some messages from people saying that they got liquidated copy my trades because they were using higher leverage so that's something I don't really like to see uh, is people copy my trades with higher leverage as I'm only using five leverage that's why I'm still in my positions right and but yeah anyways let's just get into the and <laughs> get into it we can see that right now on the monthly chart we can see that minus five and a 17 right here for Bitcoin so even after this big dump all the way down to 50 from 66,000 all the way down to 58,800 we are still sitting at a minus 5 and a 17 but when we look at the daily obviously it's a red x and a 16 and a minus 5 right on a 12 hour it's looking like a 17 and a minus 4 so a little bit of a slowdown there in the 12 hour uh and the 6 hour you can see a minus one now and and, and an 11 uh could possibly be getting a, a small green dot soon maybe we'll have to see about that Four hour looked like it was curling, but looks like the momentum waves are going to extend a little further downwards before we start to curl back up. Uh, but for the time being, it looks like the view up has not curled back on the four hour, so maybe we'll get a bounce from these levels. But who knows, right? Something I really want to uh, reiterate and explain to you guys is also this right here. Uh, we'll take a look at this chart. So we could see here back in, uh, I guess you could say February or all the way to May. Right, we can see that uh, 60,000 and uh, or 58,000 was acting actually as a, a very strong point of resistance. Right, we can see that we came back up here, rejected. We've come up right once again, a little bit above, but still rejected. And then we fought it here. We got rejected a little bit, and then we ended up breaking out. But a strong rejection after all, as, as it failed to hold the support. And then we came back once again to retest it as resistance and once again that's when we re got rejected really hard and came all the way back down to 30,000 or 29,000 if you will right so that's basically uh, your resistance there but now we can see that Bitcoin has actually broken that right we've broken through that resistance that uh, was pushing us down so much a, a couple months ago or a few months ago I should say and now we've tested it as support once right and now we're coming back down again and now we're retesting it as support once again now the big the, you know the million dollar question that everybody's asking is are we going to hold this as support right are we going to have a few weeks down a few candles down it's very possible right we can see that when Bitcoin was testing trying to break it as resistance right it was it was it was failing right as to break to break the resistance and failing to hold this support now are we going to fail to hold this as support it's very possible right it's possible that we even get wicks down to maybe 55,000 right 54 or you know even maybe even lower right we could they get down to 52 but ultimately I feel like this is going to hold very strongly as support I'm just going to delete some of this so you guys can I'll just redraw this so you guys can see better but ultimately I feel like we have a very good chance of holding these levels of support basically 60,000 to 58,000 I feel like we have a really good chance of start starting to hold this as support even though market cipher is going being quite negative on the daily I believe on larger time frames give you a better picture of what's going to happen in the long term it's just uh, I don't want people to panic and just, you know it's just, this is the end I need to sell my my crypto right away and you know no no all right that's it's we've come a long way we've come all the way down from 40,000 all the way to 69 or 68,800 if you will right basically 69,000 so if you guys are panicking at these levels you know then you I don't know why you, you didn't panic when what we're going up to right if you don't if you're not ready for these dumps then you probably shouldn't be in crypto
because this happens often right we can see that this was a pretty big dump that day I mean 5% I shouldn't say is big that we've seen bigger <laughs> right but all, all in all I'm not panicking we are hitting we have a lot of support coming in and we are have even though we're underneath six uh, sixty thousand it was it was a key you know this there was a big psychological uh, uh, level I will admit but we still have a, a lot going for Bitcoin on that on this chart right here that I was talking about so I believe that this level that we're at is going to hold very strongly Okay, some other things to look at we got the spider lines coming in we can take a look at the daily time frame right daily time frame we are uh, at e the EMA bottom EMA ribbon right at the moment right are we going to break it right away and just start crashing down in my opinion I don't think so I think we're going to get a very strong bounce from here as we can see when we retested the bottom of the EMA ribbons we've got some strong bounces from there going all the way back to the upside right and when it's come back down again we can see we did come back up after that also as well and it's only when the EMA ribbons started to squeeze in like this that we saw a crash happen I would I would say yeah this was a pretty substantial crash you could see that we corrected all the way down to a 50% correction before coming back up and making a new all-time high right people are saying this is the bear market that's it it's, it's this is the end in my opinion I don't think so but this is just my opinion right don't take this as financial advice please do your own research I hope this video helps to give you a little bit more clarity in the market and calm you guys down as you can see a lot of people were panicking today you know the Bitcoin was falling and liquidations were getting hit like yesterday 800 like I said 875 million dollars on Bybit was liquidated you know like we can see right now the Bitcoin dominance is actually just coming back up substantially because the altcoins are selling off harder than Bitcoin is so my opinion I still think that Bitcoin has a lot of gas left in the tank I still think we got some new all-time highs coming this is just a small blip on the radar or just tiny little dump may seem like nothing in the future we're actually back up to 59,400 we can see some buying happening at the moment we can go look at the chart if you guys want let's go just look at the one hour chart we can see we're getting a pretty nice wick at the moment nice little green bar let's see if we're gonna get back above 60,000 we actually had a pretty big bearish sorry bullish divergence playing out uh, I just want I don't know if I drew it on this chart let me go check on the other one so I don't draw unnecessary lines uh, uh, I did not but that's okay I'll draw it for, on this chart instead because I like messy drawings on this one for some reason uh, but we can see that right here Bitcoin was making lower lows right Rick hates this but I'm gonna do it anyways uh, but he doesn't believe in my lines but that's okay uh, his strategy works probably even better than mine and we could see that right now Bitcoin was forming some higher highs on the RSI some lower lows so I believe maybe this could be the bounce that we were waiting for maybe we're gonna go back up now to 61,000 63,000 who knows I'm not gonna give you financial advice or predict the future but yeah this was not the time to sell in my opinion I think that I'm still holding onto my trades Bitcoin is still at a 34% profit on the spot market it's going to take a long time to be in massive profits but if you hold on I believe we could make some really good gains anyways guys you guys have a wonderful day make some really good trades if you want you could use my uh, Bybit link in the description and you can get a $630 bonus plus a 10% uh, bonus deposit fee on whatever you deposit Anyways, love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. We're at 6,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can get to 7,000. Peace.